astrological update for Libra for the whole of May. Now the two energies that should be a main focus for you this month are your primal emotions, your longings, your desires, your sense of power and powerlessness and also later on in the month your sense of adventure and expansion. Hopefully you're facing your fears, you're dealing with some of those inner demons, you're shining a light into the dark corners of your soul and you're going hello I'm not afraid of you anymore and you're moving forward. If you do this, it bodes very well for you because you really have the opportunity at the beginning of this month to spring clean your soul. Now, Mercury, the planet of communication on the first, is going into that position of you dealing with secrets and primal emotions and obsessions and jealousies and whatever aspect of primal something's coming up. But it also may be someone, you're going to talk to someone about their secrets or something that's going on with them. But that is definitely the vibe that's coming out of your mouth. You don't want to talk about anything superficial. You want depth. You want to understand the very core of what makes people function and what made them who they are. It's quite intense. Although you do tend to feel that every time this year. On the 8th, we have a Mercury-Mars conjunction. And also a conjunction of the Sun, and which is trining Pluto. You're going through a phase, excuse me, you're going through a phase which is all about your family and your home and your fears about those things and you're dealing with it once and for all. If you refuse to deal with it, something could come and bite you on the bottom on that day. Venus, the planet of love, then opens you up to expansion in your love life and adventure and you stretching yourself and you opening up to life's possibilities when it comes to love. You may even go on a fabulous journey with someone that opens your eyes to how you can expand the relationship. If you're single, it's a great time to meet someone abroad or from a different culture. However, it doesn't mean that the first person you bump into is the one that the universe is referring to. Remember, we have free will and it's here for the planetary energy is here for us to take in, feast upon and grow with. There's a new moon on the 10th, which is about your fears and the spring clean of your soul and your primal emotions. You have the opportunity to step through to a new phase where you deal with your own sense of power and powerlessness in a brand new way. Or it could come up in other ways, which are like sexual obsession or anything that's like, rah, comes from that primal place within you. We also have Mercury, the planet of communication, entering your position on the 15th of you expanding, growing and learning, which is quite exciting. And the sun also on the 20th is opening you up to show people that you are made of more than they, th they thought. And you're showing people the very depths of how vibrant, intelligent and adventurous you are. The super full moon on the 25th is allowing you to communicate. You will have an intuition on how to say something, but you might find yourself quite emotional or you might feel it's very important or very deep what you've got to say. And also there's a lunar eclipse at that time. You're communicating and something is transforming through the magic of your words. On the 28th, there's a Venus and Jupiter conjunction in your sense of adventure and expansion. Great time because there's a lot of good fortune around your love life for you to expand or grab someone's hand and drag them off to an adventure. And then Mercury, the planet of communication on the 31st, heralds a time where you're communicating very well when it comes to your work. And finally, on the 31st, Mars, the planet of action, is going into that position of adventure and expansion. Don't do anything reckless necessarily around that time because, it, you know, you might want to take up snowboarding or doing something and then you're going to want to go off piste. Be careful. Don't push it too far. I send you much love and I'll speak to you soon. Mm -hmm.